It's something you don't often see in a high school setting, but it is something that Palmyra High School teacher James Dent has wanted to set in motion for the past few years. I think a lot of teachers feel like, well, I'm not teaching unless I'm, you know, in the classroom doing a lecture and that kind of thing. And we're getting that, but yet I think they're doing it just in a different way. He found this method of flipping the classroom from a book written by two popular scientists. Dent was able to use his upper level physics class as a pilot program. It's flip flop. So we do all our like quizzes and class, or like pretty much that's supposed to be homework here, and then we go and take like the lesson at home for like 20 minutes, which is a huge time saver. If we need his help, we can go to him. He has videos made up for the different sections, so we can watch it and kind of understand how he wants us to do it first before we go bother him because. He's a busy man. The idea behind this method is as follows. You do your homework in class, and you do your lectures at home. And in dense class, everyone moves at their own pace. In other classes, I would have to wait for the, you'd be slowed down by the slowest person. And it's not like that in this class, because you get to go at your own pace. And if you're ahead, that's great. You go ahead. And if you get done early, then you have some time to go at a more leisurely pace if you want to. <laughs> this also puts the ball on the teacher's side of the court, which means Den has to keep up with the rate students are learning at. And that's the, the challenge for me is they're putting now putting pressure on me to have things produced for them because this, this takes a little more work than up front it takes more work. He says this program is off to the right start but isn't exactly what he hoped for. He thinks procrastination can hurt this kind of teaching. There's still a lot to learn about flipping the classroom, but Dent feels you have to start somewhere. Jeff Monlock, KHQA News, Palmyra.